Good morning, good morning. How are you guys? It is Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Oh, my sister was scratching tickets. Um, it is April 8th, 2019, gents. Ooh, ooh, I didn't forget about my ladies. I don't know what that was all about. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's see. So let's see what we're looking at for the today, tomorrow. We know how energy works, right, guys? We are aware. We are aware. All right, failure. Ugh. All right, so understand... You know, making a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So right off the rip, all right, this is somebody feels like a failure. But here's the thing. This is a lesson. So you got to remember that this is just a feeling, okay? Um, you're not a failure. You, you could have made a mistake, but don't look at it as you failed, okay? So please pick yourself back up and keep marching, okay? It's like the ants go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. I had an ant story for you guys, um, like metaphysical, um, kept me up all night. That's for another day though, I gotta get these raw loves out for you guys. Um, let's just see what we're looking at real quick. What is this? I knew I should've looked at it. We got the world and we got the moon. Alright, this is most definitely, um, something coming to an end but this is something brand spanking new starting okay um so that's that's great i think there's a little confusion looks to be two of you so and it just said king of hearts on tv i mean not on tv endless nights by cynthia Um, so I don't know, man of cups might come out. Alright, what are we looking at? It's Monday. What's the current energy, please? Current energy, please. Please don't feel like your, your life is just like, oh my god, please don't, okay? Um, it's not, oh my gosh, it's, you know, mistakes happen, so take this opportunity to just kind of not not dwell and if you're in the wrong apologize you know what i mean jelly beans so ton of wands all right so whatever it is you're dealing with holy crap it's it's eating at you okay um it's heavy hoo wee hoo wee we got the emperor all right so <sighs> this is either masculine energy dealing with a lot right now, or this is someone thinking about the masculine energy. Um, it could be a boss, it could be a leader, it could be a husband. Hold on, I got the dog in. I mean, cat food. She always gets the scraps after I give the cats the wet food. So... This is emotional, considering it was singing King, King of Hearts, okay? Um, you could be dealing with an Aries, but you could be dealing with a water Scorpio Pisces. A water Scorpio Pisces. A uh, Cancerian Scorpio Pisces. But someone's stubborn, okay? Um, I'm not going to say necessarily stuck in their ways, but definitely um, stubborn, irritable, I, I, uh, I just got a little bit of arrogance, um, so I'm not really sure. So I don't know if this person has too much pride to to learn from an opportunity or if somebody wants to just miss the opportunity out of pride, um, if that's what it's talking about. Ace of Swords. Okay, so conversation. the truth about something. So it looks like somebody wants to talk to somebody. Looks like the emperor wants to talk to somebody about 
about something that's, you know, extremely heavy. It looks like it's getting the best of somebody. Um, there's a need for understanding here, though, okay? So I'm not really sure what it's referring to. Um, tell me about the Ten of Wands, please. Ten of Wands. So... I was almost like, let's do, let's do another one for the day real quick, just because, you, you know me, because I'm like, maybe not everybody's in heavy energy, but um, it always gives me the same thing. So we have the queen, of the queen of Wands with the Two of Coins. So this is, I feel like somebody's manifesting here. I'm not really quite sure. Um, I feel manifestation. Only the way, it's normally juggling, but she's very intuitive. Um, lots going on. It looks like he wants to talk to the Queen of Wands, but whatever this is regarding, you know, it's, it's a lot. I don't. I, I feel like the scales can be balanced because, but something's still up in the air. All right, so I don't know if a, a conversation looks like a conversation needs to be had, um, or if this is the feminine energy thinking, you know, with the masculine. Um, tell me about the emperor. But I really feel like it's, it's the masculine energy that wants to have a conversation or, or, or tell the truth when it comes to something. seven of swords so yeah the emperor is carrying the seven of swords all right um and looking looking right up at all this weight okay so looks like the emperor wants to have a conversation or did have a conversation and if they did have a conversation with a feminine it looks like there was some type of lies deception um Or just is sabotaging a conversation and not having one. You know what I mean? Um, tell me about the Ace of Swords real quick. Ace of Swords. I just got lightheaded, so I don't know if somebody's going through, um, to me, like an, 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 an ascension type thing. Um, it looks to me like somebody might sabotage a situation not gonna lie to you because I think somebody's pride might be in the way um or purposely not have a conversation or lie during a conversation I don't know if you bruised someone's ego we have the three of wands all right so this is this person is either at a distance from somebody and I normally don't read it that way because to me it's more linked about the future but um is somebody's waiting, somebody's postponing this conversation. All right. Um, tell me about the Three of Wands real quick. I don't see it being, you know, I don't know. It's, it's heavy. I don't see sorrow, okay? I, that's why I'm, I don't see that. So I don't know if somebody is just being arrogant and not talking. And we got the death card with that. So it's like, Mingya, there's that transformation but I felt more of an awakening. So somebody's waiting. Something was definitely over. That's like a rebirth. Okay. Cause yeah, look at the bottom of the cup, bottom of the deck is the page of cups. So to me, that's, that's somebody who's got feelings, wants to have a conversation, but is also waiting, not having a conversation. Somebody's probably at a distance for sure too. And I don't know if you ask me, this person is sabotaging the situation. Emperor sa sabotaging. Or is scared shitless. But that emperor's not scared shitless, ladies and gents. So. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. I feel sabotage. I don't feel you guys. I don't feel like this conversation was had. Maybe some of them. Maybe some of you. Because, yeah, we did have the heated conversation. So maybe some of you had this conversation conversation and if you did it doesn't look like you got the truth 
it looks like you guys could have like stormed out and left it as is because this didn't come out but somebody still wants to have a conversation you ask me someone is not learning from a mistake even though there's feelings it's, it's kind of like whatever which makes sense because the king of cups tell me about the seven of swords um I, but I do honestly feel like this didn't come through um and if it did you're deciding you're thinking to yourself did this person tell me the truth did they not did they lie to me like what the what WTH energy you know um are they are they juggling more than one person yada 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 seven of swords seven of swords please tell me about the seven of swords that fool out and it's the five of swords so like I said it's like I kind of feel deficient in here because of all the weight I kind of feel like somebody feels defeated and nobody wins in this situation so somebody's not talking about their feelings somebody wants to have a conversation but they're not having it they're sabotaging the situation they're thinking about a feminine energy but yet no one's taking action there's no action on my card on my board none okay um I don't know what she's up to I she might be juggling a lot. She might have a lot going on in her life. But regardless, that's exterior to him. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. So I don't know. I mean, Queen of Wands, you might be an air sign or you might be a complete biatch towards this person. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Um, but she wasn't reversed or nothing, to be honest with you. This, this all came out upright. So Queen of Wands, please. All right, so... She's got that. She's carrying the five, too. She's carrying the five, too. All right. Um, or this is him when it comes to her. Someone feels like it's a lose-lose, a lot of combating energy, wants to talk to somebody at a distance, but not talking to them right now. Could be a Capricorn, too, but not talking to them, okay? Not having a conversation. Um... And it looks like because somebody made a mistake with this card being failure, you know, but it's like, it's just a mistake, ladies and gents. And it's ironic because I said gents, like I left the ladies out of this. And to be honest with you, there's no feminine energy in here because I think he feels this way with her. She's just going to argue with me. She's just argumentative. She might be a biatch because I said the queen of swords, sometimes she can be a biatch. She can be ice cold, you know, um, the bottom of the deck we got forgiveness all right so it's like somebody is harboring all these feelings and it's it's blocking the flow of love and there's love here and like i said that this fear here and then look at that love see what i'm saying ladies and gents so this is the energy right now unfortunately um this is what i have for you and i do say unfortunately because i feel like even if this conversation did come in, I feel like nothing got resolved. But for a majority of you, I don't feel like it came in because we have the three of wands here. Somebody's postponing. Somebody's waiting on whatever this is, this conversation. So, you know, there's that. I love you guys. Have a fantastic rest of your day. I wish I had some better news for you, okay? So try not to, um, try not to, you know... I don't like that. Um, but people who aren't in that energy, remember I was like, oh, maybe I should just do another one. I, I don't, I, it doesn't really work that way with me, but let me just, you know, see if I can get a, a quick, quick another story for those who are not in that. Okay, so I can pull another energy real quick. Another energy for today. Another current energy, please, if at all possible. Sweet. Ace of coin. There we go, spirit. Give it to us, baby. Give it to us. Here's a new opportunity, okay? New opportunity. And that's a that's a big opportunity. And we got the hermit. So this is something, this is an opportunity that's going to come around. And you're really going to have to use your mind, body, and soul here, guys, okay? It, it's also going to require studying and really digging deep, okay? I kind of feel like this is already in the works, to be honest with you, the way that the two of you are looking at each other. So it's almost like the opportunity is here and you're kind of just waiting for finalization, possibly. Or this is a new opportunity coming. Could be dealing with a Virgo. All right. We had two flip outs. So we have the 
Five of Swords and the Two of Cups. So, we got love on the board. All right. So, but somebody feels like it's a lose lose. So I don't know if somebody's, see, here, it's like, yeah, I should have stopped. It's like somebody's like, it's a lose lose. Like, I'm in isolation mode, but I got a lot of love for this person. And that was reversed. So the connection's not together. But I will tell you, it, whatever this is, it's a forever connection. Look at the swans. They're, they're, they're era, um, they're era place, not, well, irreplaceable, but they're inseparable, okay? They mate for life. I almost went so ghetto. For life. So, any he? but it was reversed, so it's like the connection's there, but it's not together. Somebody thinks it's a lose-lose. Somebody's isolating themselves. So they have an opportunity, once again, to step in, whether she was somebody else, but nobody's taking action. Tell me about the Ace of Swords real quick, please. Temperance. So it's like... Almost like they want the reconciliation. Now we got lovers that came out too. So it's like somebody wants the reconciliation with this incredible bond. But it's it's a heavy decision for this person. But geez, I mean, look how gorge. Gorge, 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 gorge. Tell me about the hermit. So it looks like somebody, you know, king of swords. So you might be dealing with an Aquarian. But it looks like, you know, somebody is just kind of like, eh, four cups. Yeah, see, bored. Like, I, I don't really want this. Like... Like, but kind of like, I'm looking at it, I'm looking at it, but not doing jack shit, okay? All right, jack shit can go sit in the corner. Why don't you give me some Jack Ryan action, okay? Jack Ryan, Jack Ryan, come knock on my door. Tell me about the two of cups, that's not together. But you know what, guys, in all reality, you know, keep the faith, okay? Um... Well, this person needs to keep the faith. We got the tower at the bottom of the deck, but what a beautiful, beautiful tower. That's that awakening I was feeling with the Knight of Cups. So it's like somebody does want to come in, but nobody's knocking right now. Nobody's doing jack shit, okay? So I don't know what to tell you. You might be dealing with an Aquarian. I mean, again, I, I mean, I look at the King of Swords, who's somebody who wants to have a conversation, but is isolating themselves. It's like they know they can have a new start. They know they can have a reconciliation. I don't know if there's another person here. To me, this lover is the two of you already together. It's just an important decision. And again, another Sag. So the feminine is coming in as Sag energy for sure. All day. Okay. Um, I don't want to knock this relationship because there's a lot of love that you have for somebody. But at the same time, it's like... How long are you going to do this? How long are you going to do this? Sit here and wait and contemplate and, and have negativity. Bogus. Bogus ass energy. I'm so thankful that I'm not absorbing this right now because normally I absorb this. So thank you, Spirit, for, for that. Okay. Um, tell me about the lovers. I just want to see. I don't because we did have the three over there, but to me it was more distance. I didn't see. I didn't see third party scenarios. I didn't see, you know. Oh, I didn't see. Just like this person's not seeing, you know. So it's like same thing, you know. Wanting to balance it out. But yeah, see, somebody's, that could be the queen of swords too, even though it's only the three of swords. You know, heartbroken, sorrow. I mean, it could be somebody's ego getting the best of them. Like I said, maybe there's a bruised ego here. You know what I mean, Jelly Beans? So it's like, you know, somebody's got those feelings, but ain't saying jack shit. Oh, this person is just, um, this person is just watching you. Okay. Not in a creepy way, but most definitely. See what I'm saying? Not, not talking. I, I think they may be meditating. So there might be some sorrow. You know. What can it be in my eyes? So... Stevie B's on. I love Stevie B. To me, Stevie B is like, I, I don't know. It's, it touches my soul. There's something about, there's something about it. So again, soul connection. Um, so I'm sorry you guys are going through this. I hope you're not waiting. I, I really hope that you're, you're pedaling along. Okay. Cause this one's putzing. No matter how much love is there, this person is putzing. Putzing. I'm going to, I'm going to pull on the feminine real quick because once again, it gave me, it gave me masculine in a different way. Okay. So I just saw the world again. So I don't know if my feminine is about to travel. I don't know what she's up to. 
So. <sighs> feminine energy. Current feminine energy, please. Hi. 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 Current feminine energy, please. Ooh, that was a shiny cat. I don't, I don't know if that was a six of pence or not, but something looked good. All right, so we got the Knight of Wands. So I don't know if this means my feminine. I don't. It could be. It could be that. Really fast energy is how I want to read it because I forget what it could be. <laughs> so that means it's already telling me that you're in, you're in quick energy. Okay, so I don't feel any stagnancy with you. Um, movement. Okay. Um, what was I saying? It could be. Honestly, I don't even remember now. So obviously, it's irrelevant because this speaks about movement. Um. But it's also a messenger. Oh, I was going to say you could be in masculine energy, but I don't think so because you came up as the queen. That's why it wouldn't let me remember. And I didn't get the goosebumps. So that's that's all about movement or a message. Um, and I'm going to tell you, I don't think it's from the, the, the soul connection. I, I think this is, your energy is just, it is swift. It's moving around you, whether you feel it or not. It's it's moving. Man, they're not giving me nada for you guys. Feminine energy, current feminine energy, please. Gamma, 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 gamma. Oh, I hope that's Jack. I hope that's Jack Ryan. I hope it's Jack Ryan. Whoo, woo wee. So this is a message, and let's see what I'm saying. You guys are coming up as the Queen of Swords. Um, and then you got the Palace of Cups, which is beautiful. This is, you got a placement for this person in your heart. This is, but this is when the two of you, I don't remember the exact definition, nor do I have that book down here. I just know all the palaces of, of any suit is great. And this is, this is emotion. So it's like you have emotion, but it's almost like, see what I'm, you're not waiting, but it's your past. So you cut it out. You're, you're in a happy place. You cut out what no longer served you, unfortunately. This person is, it will eventually come together no matter how you look at it, okay? But you are dealing with somebody who kind of like, I, I feel like hasn't quite found themselves, to be quite honest with you, because there's, there's just this waiting, this hesitation, there's, there's negativity, okay? So that can take somebody a while to find themselves, you know? I, I you know, I, I can't, I don't know. <sighs> I almost just lost my, like, so much wanted to just come out right there. I don't know if you picked up on that, like... I couldn't get shit out quick enough. I don't know what that's all about. So if somebody has not found themselves and is feeling isolated still, and but they got feelings for you, but yet that I'm telling you, like that can take time. Unfortunately, uh, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but um, that's why I think it's like, honestly, like you're not waiting. You are looking. So it's like, I know you know who this person is, but in all reality, you're looking over here. You're looking over here like content, happy, you know, hot chakras on. Tell me about the um, Queen of Swords, please. Or somebody came in, tried to have that conversation and charmed you and you cut them out, okay? Or right now, you're just, you're being super logical. It's not even ice cold energy. It's just you're using your, your mind because it's like... You're just smart. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. I didn't completely flip troops. They're really being selective with my feminine right now. There's that six of coin. All right, but it's like, you knew you had to go in that direction. It could have been a gift too, but you knew in order to balance out your life and to be happy, you had to move forward. And if somebody new came at you, you would just kind of like, 
it's like that whole I don't know energy, you know. It's tough. It's tough. We got the nine of wands. I told you it's tough because it's like, do I fight? Do I not fight? See what I'm saying? But again, it's like you're not up and ready to battle. You're just kind of looking at this person and being like, you know, I, maybe I try to balance out the scales in nada. So I got no choice but to move forward. Tell me about the Palace of Cups. So to me, this is also, this is a new home, new location. Um, but it's going to leave you emotionally content. Okay, so tell me about the Palace of Cups, please. Or what's happening is you're getting these messages and you're not responding to them. You could be blocking them. You got the seven of wands. See, yeah, so it's 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 like standing up for your own beliefs. It, it's like you're shooting right to the sky, too. So it's like, yeah, see, it's like you're taking you're taking a leap of faith and moving forward. Tree of life. See, there's no you're you're going. All right, so I don't, it's like, you know that this person's lingering. It's like, you know they got feelings. I, I don't know. I don't see any sign of commitment here, I'll tell you that. Okay? I All I know is that you're about to take a leap of faith and go in a new direction. You're, you're following your, your destiny. Congratulations. It's beautiful. Congratulations, it's a boy. Had a baby, it's a boy. Okay? But it's like, the point of no return is on right now. Exposed. So, so it's like someone got exposed anyway. It's like you already know that. But it's the point of no return. You know, it's like, you, yeah, you guys have that bond. But there is, sacred as it is, it's like there's no returning for you at this point. You know, you're using your brain, your your body, your mind, body, soul, like I said. You're moving forward. You're not looking back. And some, I don't think you guys are sad. I, I just, I don't. I, I, you know, I don't see sorrow. I, I think you thinking this person might just catch up. Uh, regardless, you're following your destiny for damn sure. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Or this is somebody new that came into your life and you're kind of like, I don't, do I take a leap of faith? Because that's somebody brand new. Okay. Um, but I don't know if it was just like a hookup and you're like, I'm not down for a hookup. So you turn the hookup away. Ah, I just thought of something. Okay, so it could have been a one night stand over the weekend, or somebody offered you a one night stand, or you were you messaged somebody for a one night. I I don't know your deal exactly, but I'm feeling like I'm feeling like you might have turned down sexual encounter because that's like a, a one night stand with somebody you got emotions for. I don't know. Maybe you were H O R N Y. And it, it didn't, it didn't pan out, but you were like, F it, I'll text anyway, I, something like that. You know what I mean? You, so it's like, but you were just looking for a one night stand anyway, but you were looking to do it with somebody you connected with. I don't know if it, if you had one or not, but that energy's there. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. I think that's what that is for some of you. Regardless, you're still you're still going in a whole new direction. You're standing strong in your beliefs. You're taking a leap of faith. You're using your mind, body, soul. You're working with your destiny. You got a lot going on, but you're grounding each and every situation that comes your way. Okay. Um, I don't really have the whole it's that page of cups. So it's probably that same person you hit up. Okay. And they got feelings for you, but because they're kind of looking at you. They got feelings for you anyway, so I think you hit somebody up for a one-night stand. But it's like, so I don't know if that's them that was thinking point of no return. Like, they don't want to come back. But regardless, if this person comes back or not, eventually they will, whether you hook up or not, whether you work together or not. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, it's that bond. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. So... Or to me, this person didn't want to have that one night stand because, you know, their emotions, they got more invested in their emotions than they do just, you know, whipping your panties off. So, I don't know, that could be a thing too. And you were probably like, come on, just whip them off. I'm not gonna lie to you. Keep coming up as the queen of sorts. I mean, the queen of wands. So, 
again, three of coin. So it's you guys. You guys have a contract, but see, this. Go figure. I just talked about work too. Or they were too busy working. But it's like, I think if this person comes into you, they know they gotta give you time. They gotta express. So. You couldn't just have that type of energy even though if that's all you wanted. Because if you ask me, you definitely just wanted that one that one hookup or, you know, because this is a message to someone you care. And to me, that was kind of like a one-night stand. But if you ask me, this is that person's energy, you know, it's that opportunity that was on my board before. And that, that's a soul contract, okay? So it's, it's a contract. Work, love, you know, so... This person can't just come in just like that and say, let's have a one-night stand. There's, you guys are too connected as of right now just to have a one-night stand. But, again, point of no return. To me, I don't think she feels ashamed for doing that or or anything. She's just content going in the other direction. I, maybe she was just really H-O-R-N-Y. You know what I mean, jelly beans? Um, let's see what my feminine lesson is right now. We got freedom. and So she's just taking that leap of faith and going. She's accepting change, moving forward. Um, you could just be dealing with somebody who just, um, just has not found themselves yet. Okay, that's way too many. Feminine, please, just one. Um, regardless of the connection you know and they're coming up as a page and you keep coming up as a queen okay so in all reality somebody the maturity just might not be there you know oh as I said growth so my feminine see what I'm saying there's been growth so it's like you want to expand your consciousness and awareness so it's like you're moving you're moving forward as of right now the the you guys soul connection or not are not on the same page they were coming up as the king, too, and the emperor, actually. So this is just probably fresh energy, but it's like there's just so much growth with you guys. It's it's, it's just you're moving forward, okay? It's You're taking a leap of faith and you're going, you know? Um, with the masculine, it looks like they're just kind of... It was just stagnant energy, no matter if they're living their life or whatnot. You got balance with the bottom of the deck. No matter, even if their life is busy and hectic, it's like it's not really going anywhere because it's like their thoughts are with you and work, whatever it is they do. But it's just, it's stagnant. It, you're dealing with somebody, I think, that just needs to focus more on themselves right now and really figure out what they want and where they want to go, regardless of having these feelings for you because it's just like, you know, they're honest to God. You probably love them to death, but, like, they're not doing jack shit. Yeah, they're thinking about you. Yeah, they're gotten feelings. But they're not having that conversation with you yet, you know? So, I feel like this was you. You know? It's not them. It looks like you delivered a message, and to me, it's like, That's not one night stand energy. So I feel like it's to me, I feel like this person that wants this new stat knows that there's, there's just time required here. You know what I mean, jelly beans? Um, what's the energy? What was the energy over the weekend with this mama? What was this mama's energy? Mama's energy over the weekends. Sam, see? Yeah. You know, and with the seven of, with the eight of cups. Looks like they either try to walk towards you try to walk towards them or to you try to or you're about to, you're walking away from them. Actually, it's the Nine of Cups. Why do I always do that?
It was at the bottom of the deck. I think you wanted to, to be honest with you, you wanted to potty. Like I said, you wanted to hook up. With this person, this other half, you wanted to hook up. That's hook up energy. Pottying. Queen of Wands, very um, seductive, sexy. H-O-R-N-Y. That's, that's, a, that's a clear as day hook up. Okay? So I'm telling you, this person didn't want to hook up. This, is the, this person didn't hook up because they know when they come in, to me, they want to talk about work. Yeah, they got feelings for you. Yeah, they're, I'm guaranteed they're attracted to you. But you guys, for those who try to hook up with this other person, the other half, I'm telling you, it's, you can't just hook up with this person like that. I, maybe you thought you could, but you can't. It's, you can't. It's too much of a soul connection. You know, whether you wanted to talk or not talk or you just wanted to do the do, you guys are way too bonded. You can't just hook up, okay? For those who try to hook up. Because for real, the, the feminine just pottied, okay? So I don't know. I don't know if you did potty and you spend time with someone else. And if this person, if this other person comes back that we're talking about, you're going to find yourself in a third potty. Okay, because you, you could have potted and hooked up with someone else. But there's definitely no commitment from the other person. But there was no commitment here either. It could have been a soul contract. It just could have been part of your destiny. Hooking up, meeting someone new. I'm, I'm not really sure. Tell me about the three of coins. Because it, it could go that way too, considering now you have the queen of cups that could have possibly just played with somebody, somebody new, okay, um, because you were H-O-I-N-Y, and then I was just gonna say fly, <laughs> um, tell me about this three of cups, three of coin, you could have gave you a time elsewhere, but to me, it, it was, it would have been partying, oh, damn, yeah, you could have, you could have partied, all right, it's, it's, you were victorious, I'm not going to lie to you. So now where do you invest your time? All right. So it looks like you got pleasure somewhere. That's victory. Okay. So now you might have, you know, because I said, ugh, look at the Knight of Swords right there with the King of Coins. See, you, you now, it, now it might get messy. That's for those who... That's for those who hooked up over the weekend, for damn sure. That, that's somebody who, H-O-R-N-Y, played with the Nine of Cups, damn sure, party, and was victorious, okay? So, we, but I don't, maybe not though, guys, because we have growth here. So, somebody with that much growth moving forward and has such a connection with somebody, I don't know. Maybe it's saying, listen, that was your energy. It could come in, slow your roll, but I don't know. It looks like somebody else possibly gave you that time. And now you might got somebody else involved in this situation. I don't know. I don't know. It keeps getting trickier and trickier. So I'm just going to, you know, you know, I, ugh, now you got Johnny O memories. Let me see about this Six of Wands real quick because if you did meet somebody new, let me see where, you know, it, it could just be your ego, your pride. You had it. You, you had fun. I cannot believe this daily reading is this long. Don't even know how that just happens. Any who's eight, tell me about the six of wands, please. Six of wands, six of wands. <clears throat> so. Oh, damn. It's a six of cups. It's a soulmate. This person was meant to step in your life if that's the case. You got the tree of life, okay? So if you did have a one-night stand, it was the way it was supposed to go. Okay, so that way you're left up in the air. That's why that tool of pens is here. You might start juggling two people, especially if this person comes back. I don't know what to tell you. That's for those who had a one-night stand. You did just meet a soulmate. Okay? So... There you go. I love you guys. Have a great rest of your day, okay? Bye, guys.